Hey, folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? He's not actually waving because he's got to do the smelting of the mithril. Um, but anyway, welcome back to World of Warcraft. I'm just very quickly smelting some of the mithril that we've got here. And it's boosting our mining skill up a little bit. So we're up to 197 so far. It might take us all the way to um, 200. I very much doubt it, though. I'd be very surprised if it does go all the way up to... 200 you've got to use when you get down to the end of it when it's almost ready to turn gray it's a very low chance of it actually leveling up i think 200 might be I, I don't know what else we need in order to level up we'll go and see the trainer in just a second engineering in here we can make some more of those in order to level our engineering up a bit we can also make some more of these we've got the silk cloth the heavy blasting powder and the iron bars which is going to give us more iron grenades if we want to make one accurate scope, we can. We don't yet have the micro, gyromatic micro adjuster, which is something we need. We want four steel bars for that. So in order to make steel bars, we're going to need to go to... Actually, we want to go over to here. Uh, we've got stink. Stink bombed. You smell horrible. What's on your mind? The, um, the Halloween festival is here. You may have noticed some very large pumpkins around. So the, the Halloween is currently on. And there's a couple things that I'd like to do, actually. One thing in particular, we'll have a look at that in a minute. So there's coal. One, two, three, and four pieces of coal. Be good. Like that. So then I come back over to here, and we go in here, and... Oh, I got one in my reagent bank. That's why I've got five pieces. I only want four. If I do that, create. I think it uses the stuff from my bags first before it uses the stuff from the reagent bank. Yes, it does. Right, so we've got that one there. Now, where is the steel? Ah, four steel bars over there. Our bags are a little tiny bit full. We're, we're a little bit cramped here in regards to space. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that we'll be able to sort of figure that out in a minute. Uh, so we want to go to there with our four steel. And then we can make our gyromatic micro adjuster. And we've got that one because we're going to require that one for some of our engineering skills. We don't need it just at the moment. So then, right, I'm on engineering 185. So I just want to run over to... Oh, the other thing, naturally, i got to show you what is Taming the Wild. What's he done? Defeat a Master Pet Tamer. We'll just say well done. That's Damocles, another member of the guild. If you'd like to join the guild, remember, we've got... Oh, actually, currently our... Um, the guild has no one pure of heart. This is our message of the day. No one pure of heart in it. Therefore, there will be no cookies today. We were unable to find someone that was pure of heart. Everybody deals in fell magics or uh, lingers in the shadows. And there appears to be a lack of people who are pure of heart. And we didn't want tainted chocolate cookies. So this this was a, um, a, a, a weird discussion that we were having. But anyway, if you'd like to join the guild... Head into the comment section, not the, the description down below, and you can get the code to join here, join and create, and then you can go into here. You'll be able to join this Frithgar YouTube chat community. You need to be on an EU server. You don't need to be anywhere else, just on any EU server, and you can join this one. If you'd like to actually join the guild itself, you need to be on the Terranas server in order to be able to join. Ask in this channel here if there's somebody else on and we should be able to get you an invite. You can come join the guild and you can be a part of the fun. I usually play at weekends. I didn't play that much this weekend. I did a bit, uh, but not that much. However, I did manage to get a couple of bits. Naturally, I need to show you. So the first one I got was the Blood Bathe Vanquish. Blood Bathe, Frost Brood, Vanquisher, right here. Glory of the Ice Crown Raider. Now, many of you who are familiar with the game have probably seen this mount before and wondered why it's taken me so long. I just never actually got round to it. So I had to complete uh, this achievement right here. Do a whole load of stuff in there. And then I've still got another one to do. The Alduar Raider right there. I've still got that one achievement to do, which I'm going to be working on. Me and Sen have been working on that one together. And then we're also going to start this one. Hopefully we'll do this one this week. So we get most of that one achieved. And then I think it's the same. There seems to be another one. There seems to be more in that one than there was in the first one. But anyway, we're going to work on that one so that we can get the Icebound Frostbrood Vanquisher. And we've got this one here. We're hoping to get that one this week. The Rusted Proto Drake and the Ironbound Proto Drake as well. 
And then, yeah, the, there's others that I'll be working on later on, but uh, I don't need to worry about those at the moment. So that is one mount that I managed to acquire this weekend, which I'm very pleased with. Um, just press the space bar once, and there is the mount special that it does. So you just need to press the space bar, although if you can actually fly, I think it would just take off. That's why you need kind of that, and then it just shows off what it can do. Someone's just stink bombed me. That wasn't very nice. I didn't want to be stink bombed. You didn't have to go and do that, did you? And I don't really know why they felt the need. Uh, now, yeah, well, I just stink now. I've got this stink. Oh, no. Do I still stink? I'm not sure. Anyway, the other one. There was one more that I got. And this one, I, I do quite like this one. Um, this was the one that I had to pay money for. Uh, I can't even remember what it's called. Uh, is it the Dread? The Dread Wake. That's it. Uh, that one right there is my other new mount. Yeah, look at that. In order to, I know I said I had to pay money for this one. In order to get it, you have to buy six months of game time all at once. I don't know if it's still available, actually. I know it was uh, a game upgrade there. I can still spend £13 in upgrade. I get that pet and I get that mount. And then that one over on the Horde side. But I don't really think I can afford it. Because I've just gone and bought this one here. See, £52 is very expensive. But that is six months worth of game time. It's something that I would have bought anyway. It's just I normally would buy it a month at a time. Because I, you know, it's a struggle to find that kind of money all in one chunk for something like this. But the mount persuaded me. The mount persuaded me. So I found it. And I've made a couple of sacrifices this month in order to be able to get it. And I now have this one right here. And look, you've got bits of gold Lying around on the deck, you've got a massive pile of gold at the back there. A big um, jar of grog as well. And I, I don't know, this, it's very cool, this mount. It's very well made. You've got the little guns on the sides as well going out through. Um, that's the mount special. As it shoots the guns a little bit as well. It's absolutely brilliant. So that's the two mounts that I managed to acquire for myself this weekend. And if we have a look in collections down here... I'm now up to 197 out of 200. I'm hoping by next week I'll be able to show off a brand new achievement on there, which would be the Iron Cast, uh, the, the, the armored uh, blue dragon hawk thing. Um, but anyway, on with the show. We're going to be doing some more engineering. Engineering is our priority today, so we're going to go back assistance? to the engineering trainer. And at the moment, we don't want to be looking at Cataclysm. See, it's all uh, requires engineering 190. One there requires this big iron bomb at 190. And then there's one there at 195. And then 200. So really, we want to get this up to 200 if we can. You have a great day now. Um, just to make life a little bit easier for us. So let's go and see what the mining trainer has got. That's the guy in here. Mining trainer right there. What's on your mind? Smelt true silver. There's another one that we've got ready. And then the next one is actually level 250. That'll be Thorium, but we're not going to be getting to that for quite a while. So Up we don't need you. to worry about that. Let's go back over to here. And oh, I've actually got the Dread Weight coming up. Okay. I don't mind that. I'll stick to my horse after this, though. So we will go back in here. And we now want to go to Engineering. And Grenades right there. I think we'll just start making some grenades. Now, I don't know if this is going to get me 15 levels or not. Um... I think it might be good if I could get an accurate scope, but that's a jade and a citrine. I don't have a bronze tube either. I don't. I, I don't have the bronze. Uh, bronze. There's a copper bomb there. Where is the bronze tube? What do I need for that? Inventory bronze. is full. Oh great. Okay. Uh, I'm not able to make any more. We got bronze framework. That's still yellow on there. That's good. But where is the bronze tube? Devices, scopes. Tools. Part. It's got to be bronze framework. It's not that one. Heavy blasting powder. Oh, bronze tube right there. I need one bronze bar. Okay. So let me go back to mining and bronze. I've got tin bar. I need one copper bar. So all I need is one single copper bar. But I've also got all of this stuff here. This is... I, I got way too much. I'm just carrying too much stuff Welcome. around. We need, we need to unload some of this. So that I can go. That one can go. That one can go. The raw bristle whisker catfish. I don't think there's anything I can do with that. 
Brilliant small fish, I'm pretty sure, is um, something else that I can get rid of. All of this is our clothing. We don't want to get rid of that. So I can't, I can't do anything with that. Heavy leather was stuff we were using. Target dummies. We haven't been using those. I've got target dummy over there. That was eight, level 85. I don't know where to get rid of it or not. Iron strut. Again, it's, this is all stuff that maybe we'd use, maybe we wouldn't. Compact harvester reaper is one that we want. Anyway, we got we got three Watch spots at the moment. Let's go and see if we can find a copper bar. Now, there's two places that we can go. We can either go and buy one piece of copper ore or a piece of copper bar from the auction house in here. We've got 126 gold, so we can check on here first. So let's first let's see what copper ore is on here. I'll, ooh. Okay, five silver to buy that lot. No contest, really. And there, copper bar in here. Eight gold a bar. Very expensive. Right, so the, the, the couple of silver. Occasionally, you will see one that's listed really, really cheap. Uh, it's perfect for what you need. You don't need to worry about anything else. So we've got a few pieces of copper ore. We can go and turn this into copper, uh, yeah, copper bars, which we can then in turn turn into bronze bars. And everything will work out beautifully. So there, we do that. And that's going to allow us to do... 11 castings of bronze, which will give us 22 bronze bars in total. You can see there, smelt true silver is now orange. And if we went and bought a load of true silver ore off of the auction house, we could use that to level up our mining skill if we couldn't be bothered to go around and do it manually. It's not going to affect us because we're doing it as we go, so it's, it's not really an issue. But sometimes it is actually a thing that you'd want to do. And it does make your life a lot easier. But, um, like I said, we're not going to need to worry about that. So we'll just very quickly smelt those last couple there. And something I wanted to show you. I found out this week, I didn't actually realise. I didn't look at it before and pay attention. You know that these go up to uh, level 60? See, it's all level. it goes up to level 60 and it adjusts with you. Right, so after this, you'd then go to Outland, and that would be the 60 to 70 zone. Look at this. Look, 58 to 80. 65 to 80. 60 to 80. Yeah? We can level up to level 80 right here in Outland, but also, if you go back to Azeroth and you go to Northrend, these are all up to level 80 as well. And this is a bit that absolutely astounded me, is you can now do them. You can, like, swap around the order if you want to, or you could skip Outland altogether and just... Uh, level from uh, level 58 all the way up to 80 here in Northrend if you want to or do it vice versa then you've got the Mount Hygel is level 80 to 90 it used to be 85 up to 85 all of the um, the cataclysm stuff that goes to 85 as well you've got the maelstrom here deep home that goes up to level 90 uh, these are starting areas we don't want to worry about them uh, Pandaria as well this is another one that goes up to level 90, which it didn't used to. So you can choose then to do Cataclysm before you do Pandaria if you want to. Although actually with the story and that, it doesn't actually make sense because the Cataclysm was one of the reasons that Pandaria became, like it came out of the mists. But uh, we can ignore that little bit. Uh, but you have the option for doing that in a different order if you want to. This one, you don't. This is just up to level 100 all the way through. So you do need to do this one in roughly the right order. And you can chop and change the zones a little bit if you want to, but not so much with the Draenor stuff. And then you go to the Legion one, which is the Broken Isles right here. And I've never actually been to Argus yet. Never been up here. And there's something that I do intend to do. Uh, so these zones here, these are... This is up to level 100, but it, we, that's, that's to, to come later. I just wanted to show you that. I just thought it was really cool that you can do that. Um, and you can, like, chop and change them around. I won't be. I'll be doing it how I would normally have done it. Now, I've got five of those. I'm up to 190. can still make my accurate scope if I make a bronze tube, so I'm going to do it. I've only got one citrine and one jade, so we're not going to make any more of those. We'll make one bronze tube there. So there's our bronze tube. So now I can make an accurate scope. That's another point. Takes up to 192. There we go. And I won't make any more of those. Mainly because I don't have the materials for them. And I suspect citrine and jade are going to be expensive. 
They might not be. They might be really dirt cheap, but I don't want to risk it. So let me create those iron grenades there. If oh, we're, we're, it's actually yellow, so it should level up reasonably. Is it? Am I going to get two more points for two? Two for two? No, we're not. One, one nine four. I need some more iron now. So go back to our mining. I've got two hundred and fifty iron bars here. So if we smelt a few more of these. Uh, there's another 20 bars, so we'll go back on there. It takes one. Oh, I've only got 10 heavy blasting powder. I'm going to do this until we get to engineer. Oh, engineering 195. That'll do me. So we'll go back over to our trainer over here. He should have just a couple of extra bits. Now, one thing that I was thinking. Of, no, I didn't mean to press that. One thing I was thinking of doing was going and actually having a go with the headless horseman. I thought this could be fun. We get a loot stuffed pumpkin right here you don't get a chance of getting them out with low level players but you do get a chance to go in here we get um a significant increase to player experience that's quite cool um and then also the loot stuff pumpkin so you can sort of see that one but at the same time i'm not really sure about it because um uh, can i help you well it's it's like a, a big boost, and I, that's one of the reasons I wanted to avoid the dungeons at least for now, is because they do give you quite a big boost with XP, and then you like you end up skipping other content. And kind of the idea of this was we're telling a story as we go along. Anyway, mithril tube right there, big iron bomb right there. So there's two Alrighty more then. that we get, and if I go to the engineering supplies. Making a special purchase. Does he have? We got handful obsidian bolts gives a smooth cogwheel. I see. Requires cataclysm engineering. You get a cogwheel socket. Do we have any recipes in here? <laughs> After all that, I could have gone and bought the, the bronze tube I wanted. I could have bought it right there. Bronze framework right there. That would actually Off have been away. quite useful to us, I think. I should have looked at that. Always look at what they have to sell, especially for low-level stuff. Uh, because there's very often things there, and I, I always forget... Well, you, you can see that. I forgot then. Um, but I so often I forget. Silver contact is needed for a big iron bomb. I don't want to use silver contacts. Um, silver is ridiculously expensive. And if any silver we get, we want to be using that for the selling on the auction house. Three mithril bars to make one mithril tube. That's fine. I don't mind using up the mithril bars to make these. Because these, I'm almost certain, will be used for making more iron stuff later. So you look here. Oh, that's the silver contact. Um, they're on 202. I want to get to 205. If we can get to 205. Yep, there's 204 and one more. There, 205. Right. Then we can run back over to him. So our engineering now, we've done well. We've boosted this one all the way up to over 200 points. And that now gives us hey. a new quest. We can choose to specialize in goblin or gnomish engineering. First up, we'll go in here. We've got the Mechanical Repair Kit. Restores 613 health to a friendly mechanical target. All right. Solid blasting powder that needs. Uh, unstable trigger. Fire goggles. Mithril blunderbuss. You used to be able to use guns on some different... I don't think you can use a gun anymore. So, I mean, engineering is quite good Be for you. Uh, people that can use guns, which is hunters. I think it's only Be hunters that can use them. Goblin engineering tends to focus around explosives. Gnomish engineering tends to focus around Off and away. Um, devices and uh, funny things like that. But if we just look in here a minute and we go to unlearned. Uh, I don't want Kaltiran. I don't want Legion. I don't want Drenor. I do want Pandaria. And you look down through the Pandarian stuff and you go to mounts. The depleted Kyperium rocket requires Pandaria engineering. I thought that also required... Uh, it says Pandaria. It's one... Oh, hang on. No, you look at it here. No. One or the other. I thought this was actually limited to... You could only get it if you had um, either the Gnomish or the, um, the Goblin engineering. I think the Geosynchronous World Spinner is Gnomish. And I think this one is... Goblin. And this is one that I've got. I got Goblin Engineering on my other one so that I could make the Kyperion one because it was easier for me to get the Kipperite than it was to make this one and get the 12 Spirit of Harmony, was it? No. 
What was it? What's the difference? Oh, it's the extra trillium, and that's quite expensive stuff. That's why I went for the other one. But anyway, we'll, we'll ignore that bit for a minute. Fire goggles right here. Now these here, there's, there's only t there's fire resistance. So you've got some fire resistance gear there, which is quite cool. Guns and bows. We've got a mithril blunderbuss, but we can't use guns, so it doesn't really do anything for us. We might be able to list it on the auction house. This is a hunter weapon. We could have a look and see what a mithril blunderbuss is going to get us on the auction house. Uh, you'd need elemental fire for that, and the heavy stock you buy from the engineering supplies, I think. Uh, the unstable trigger is one that we make. What else have we got in here? We've got the unstable trigger right there. We need the solid blasting powder, which we can make right here from the solid stone. You don't actually need anything. You can just start crafting that right as it is. So I can make two of those right there. Unstable trigger. Well, I make one. I got that one. I need the anvil and the arc light spanner and stuff for this one. That's why you keep hold of your mage weave cloth. Because you need it. You, you need cloth Hi, for various different things. So gnomish engineering. Right? This one. Six mithril tubes, an accurate scope, and two advanced target dummies to an engineering trainer in any capital city. The following will be cast, a gnomish engineer. This makes a load of devices, and it can be a lot of fun. So I think we'll go for the devices rather than the explosives. See what that one's like. I've got six mithril tubes. I've got the accurate scope. It's just the advanced target dummy you. that we need to make. My, you're a tall one. Train me. Advanced... Hang on. See, there's Goblin Engineering. Personal World Destroyer. Uh, goblin. Gnomish right there. Gnomish Gravity Well. Uh, temporarily reverse your gravity. Cannot be used in combat. I'm not sure about that. That, that sounds a bit suspect, really. Reversing Engineering. Um, goblin Engineering. Gnomish Goblin. So you get various helmets and stuff like that. So there is some very cool stuff when you get to level... At level 205, which is right where we are. And what is the one that we need? We got a mithril frag bomb there. We've already got the advanced thing. I think I might already have it. You have a great day now. Well, hang on a minute. We want that would be under. It's not parts. It'd be devices. Uh, advanced target dummy. That's the one that we want. And how many do we need? We need two. I need two bronze frameworks. I've got all the rest of the materials. I just need two bronze frameworks. Engineering supplies right here. He's got one bronze framework. Anymore. Infantry is full. I, I, I can't actually take this one because the inventory is completely full. I can't carry anything. Um, there, I'll do that. I've only got one at the moment. All right. Yeah. I'll have to go and make another one. Can we Can we do this? Ooh. Smoodalini has come online. Hello, sir. Right, we are... Let's, let's go in here, engineering, and we want... It's, it's parts. We need to go to parts right there. Bronze framework. Oh, dear. I need medium leather. I don't have any medium leather. I can't make them both if I don't have the medium leather. Uh, right, advanced target dummy. Let's make one of those. Create. So there's a little tiny bit of space. This, this, this is ridiculous. We've got, we got no space here anywhere. Advanced target dummy. There is one. So we, I got target dummy there. If I, I'm going to sell that one. This is Great a problem, having the the bags like this. So let's just sell that a second and we get rid of that chunk of boar meat. That might be useful for cooking if we get the right recipe. It's, it's whether you get Keep the right recipe. Uh, let me go jade panther a minute. I'm going to run over this way. So what do we want? We want medium leather to make this one. Goggles, uh, explosives, no, it was parts. And, uh, devices, no, it wasn't a device, it was parts, right there, bronze framework. I need a single medium leather. Let's have a look in here, see if we've got medium leather. Can we buy a piece of medium leather? 55 silver, and somebody has very kindly listed them in singles, um... Usually, I find that to be a bit of a nuisance, actually, people listing these in singles. And what's the betting that if I look to the back here... Is that all of them? Ah, see, they've listed a lot of stuff in singles right here. If you go right to the very end of them... That is the very end of... Nope, that's that's actually all of them. And they're all at 55 silver apiece. That's fine, we only need one. Um... Oh, yes, I remember now that the, the whole wooden mallet thing. Um, wait a minute. Oh, it's not... It won't let me take it because 
I've got to forcibly take it like that. There we go. And that's good. So I can now make the other bronze framework. And then we've got that. Land. We can make the, the other bit. So I want to go bronze framework right there. Create. And then we're going to... No, nope. what do we want to go now? We want to come down here to devices and there, create that one. So we we get rid of the last of the gyrocronatums and the bronze framework as well. We freed up some space in our bags. Excellent. I keep getting bombed with stink bombs. There's a lot of stink bombs around here. Right, we can now turn in our can quest. Can I help you? No much engineering right there. Once I receive your crafted engineering items for my review, you can become a certified Gnomish Engineer, granting you unlimited access to Gnomish Engineer schematics. Right. Uh, today is the day you become a real engineer, Grundle. Don't worry about all those messy bombs and explosives, because it's time to shine. We are now a Gnomish Engineer. Right, now, if we go hey. and speak to him again, we can learn the Gnomish Shrink Ray shrinks the target, reducing your attack power by 114. That's what it usually does anyway. Now, Gnomish Engineering is a little bit unreliable sometimes. Inlaid Mithril Plans. Inlaid Mithril Cylinder... What? Huh? Just how to make inlaid... Why, why is it like that? I, I don't get why it's like that. Anyway, train. There. That's it for now. I'm on 205. That's... that's oh, that's Goblin there. So... That's all Goblin Engineer. All of this is Goblin Engineer. Goblin Mortar, Goblin Mining Hat, Goblin Construction. Ah, so, uh, there. Our, our stuff is a little bit further on. We get Rocket... Wait a minute. The Rocket Boots. Uh, significant increase your run speed for 20 seconds. The power supply and gyros do not always function... I remember those. They are brilliant fun. They really are. We're, we're, we Alrighty are so then. going to make those. Um, we're, we're, we're definitely, definitely going to make those when we can. Wait a minute, is it the, there's another... Oh, that's, um... That's to do with the Halloween stuff. I'm going to leave the Halloween stuff for now. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's see what else we got. We've got the Noma Shrink Ray right there. We need one Unstable Trigger, two Jade, in order to finish making that one. And then Shrinks the Target. That could be some fun. We could enjoy playing with that. Uh, Mithril Blunderbuss there, we already looked at. And... That's about it, really. Mithril Tube. Unstable Trigger. Gyrocrenatum. Inlaid Mithril Cylinder Plans, Engineer's Ink, and Light Parchment. Teaches you how to make an inlaid Mithril Cylinder. This item is used by no machine. That's, that's just the plans. Requires... Oh! Requires blacksmithing. So i got to make this, and then I've got to... Um, so that an, an, a blacksmith can learn the inlaid Mithril Cylinder Plans, and then they, they can make it. Okay, that's a little bit complicated, but, um, yeah. This is kind of a, a back-and-forth thing, so you're having to rely on people with other things as well. Right, next plan, we're going to go here. I did do, in the last episode, a cooking quest and a fishing quest. I'm going to do the same in this one. While we're here, and while we are staying in a big city, we're going to just very quickly do those things How again. How are you? I'm going to go there, I'm going to the reagent bank, and I'm going to say deposit all reagents, because look at that. Look, it's, it's, it's cleared a load of stuff. We've now got all of this uh, essence of undeath. I don't think I'm going to be using a lot of these items. Many of these things I don't think I'm actually going to be using, but we've, we've got lots of these things here. And we get to use all of them straight from our bags as well. So we'll, we'll move some of this stuff around. Like that, that's one that I want to be using. Um, we've got lots of these iron bombs. So we... 75 See you iron later. bombs, which we're going to want to make sure that we use. Then I'm doing things. I'm carrying like a handful of copper bolts and mithril tubes around. I'm going to need to keep hold of them, I think. Maybe not the copper bolts. No. I, I, I don't really know. Uh, we've, we've now got a bit of space. So we're going to run over to the... Um, the fishing and the cooking area and we're going to see what we can do over there and we also want to do a little bit of cooking as well I did say that I would like to do a little bit of cooking while we're here and get that leveled up a bit so that we get some more cooking stuff because we, we have a distinct lack of cooking stuff at the moment um, like buffs and, and foods that we can eat before we go off into battle just to make us feel a little bit better first on the list we've Help got find something 
Thunderfalls. We did this before. Arnold and I have been fishing around in Stormwind for years. Um, yeah, just not just south of Stormwind in Elwood Forest above the... And we've got to get four Violet Perch. We have, have already one. done this quest once before. Um, only... I think it was a couple of weeks ago now. Just before we went back up to the Eastern Plaguelands. So we got that one to run outside and do. That does take a minute to run out there, but that's fine. We don't mind that. Do a little bit of fishing up there by the falls. What can I do for and you? And Penny's pumpkin pancakes. My daughter Penny loves pumpkin pancakes, and we have a shortage, but we have had a shortage of pumpkins here in Elwyn from the frostbite last season. I've heard of a new pumpkin patch north of Stormwind, though. Might be ripe for the picking now. Head out and harvest a few of those ripe pumpkins for me, and let's see what we can do. See you around. Right, so our first port of call needs to be the pumpkin patch north of Stormwind. And once we've done that, we also want... Actually, that's not going to be our first port of call. As I'm going this way, I'm going to head out of Stormwind. I'm going to come along here. I'm going to go around this way. I'm going to go out the front gate. And I'm going to go and get myself some fish up in... It's up behind the falls, isn't it? Now, with the... Um, the Hall the All Hallows Festival, the Hallows Eve Festival, whichever one it's called. What is it? It's Hallows End Festival. The Hallows End Festival. You got all of this stuff out here. There's some quests. There's a load of dailies and that that you can do as well. Any friend of Grey Mane, a friend of mine. Um, in the ruins of Lordaeron. Okay, that's that's a that's Watch a fair way back. from here. So you've got, like, various different quests that you can do, different things that you can take part in. And then there is usually someone that you can speak to. Uh, there's a pet vendor right there. If you get these tricky treats, you can get a Cursed Burman, which is one that I don't actually have. Widget the Departed is another fish. Uh, a cat, rather. That's, that's a cat, not a fish. Uh, Naxi is another companion there. Sinister Squashling, I've got several of them, and the Feline Familiar, I've got one of those as well. So there's three of these here that I don't have that I could get if I started doing a load of the dailies and things like that, but I'm not going to at the moment. Alright, there is some copper right there that we want. We do want to avoid these guys and get that right there. So we're going to do a little bit of fishing right here. That over there is another copper vein that is just down over the end. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Now, I've got my fishing rod. I don't actually need to do anything to the fishing rod. I just have to sit here and fish. Our fishing skill is not too bad at the moment. And we do it. We are at least able to get the fish if it will come up. There we go. It takes a while. Raw, brilliant, small fish. Now, I should have. Nightcrawlers require fishing 50. We don't have fishing 50. And I don't think there's anything else we can use in order to apply boosts at the moment. So we're just going to have to stick with that. Which is a little bit of a shame. Um, then we've got... There, the, the horseman was busy um, screaming and yelling stuff. Which was also very cool. He, he does that all through. You'll hear him in different um, areas. We've got another raw, brilliant small fish pretty sure our cooking skill roasted boar meat which we want to do something with and brilliant small fish right there we also want to cook something with that so we'll we'll be able ooh, and the long jaw mud snapper i don't know if there's actually a recipe that we can use for that but there's another one of those fish last time it took me a lot longer before i could actually see what happened with uh, before i actually caught all those fish i seem to spend ages doing the fishing have i leveled up yet my fishing gone up a point. I'm not sure what my score is. Whether uh, Oh, there we go. Thir oh, 37. I've still got 13 levels to go before we can actually apply that one and then start really boosting it up. The sky is dark. Here he goes the again. The fire burns. You strive in vain as fate's wheel turns. I have 50 fish. I don't mind that. That is good. That means that we've been doing something good. It means we've been making progress with our fishing. We have 39 fishing. Is this going to be the one? 15 pound mud snapper. Nice. One that didn't get away. Catch one of the rare fish. There are several rare fish listed. If you go to collections, uh, professions, fishing, right there. One that didn't get away. There's several others here. It takes a while to get all of them. And then I think there is actually another one where you can get all of them. 
I don't know if I've gotten all of them or not. My flames have died. I have absolutely not no idea. I shall Old craft you myself have. to the lifeless dark. Eagerly Here it is. For my blood to spill. Yet to vanquish me, tis my head you must kill. <laughs> there is our 15 pound mud snapper. Right there. I don't, but it, because it's not actually cla classed as a shield. I can't do anything with it other than hold the fish. But I do have the fish. I, I can hold on to the fish right there. I've now got a fish in my hand. And quite frankly, it looks quite good. I'm, I'm pleased with that. Right. Anyway. Let's go back into stuff. You know what? Um, that's my fish. Well, I don't need to carry the fishing rod at the moment, do I? I'm, I'm gonna. I'm going to hold on to my fish. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to take our swift mountain horse, and we are going to run back into Stormwind. We got ourselves some pumpkins that we need to gather up. So the pumpkins are north of the city. We've just come in through the trade district. In through to the canals. We've got Old Town right in front of us there, which I don't actually want to go to, so we'll go on round this way here. And go up past there. We'll go across the bridge here through into the Dwarven area where we've been doing our engineering stuff. This is normally where you would go into the Dwarven district here to do blacksmithing and engineering, mining, smelting, all that kind of stuff. This is where the forges are located. So we go on past all of those, and we want to go straight out through that gateway right there to get north of Stormwind to this area here. We come around here. I could have just gone down those steps, I suppose. And there's the pumpkin field next to Olivia's pond. And running around in that pumpkin field, we should be able to find all of the pumpkins that we need for this quest. We've got one right there. I believe I've done this quest a few times before. Um... We go like that. We'll summon a war horse. And we'll get that one. I'm not going to do the cooking quests and the fishing quests every day. Just sort of when we're coming through Stormwind, we'll grab them. So I've done the fishing quest two days in a row now. So uh, our next episode, we'll do a pet battle while we're, we're going to Red Ridge. Once we've done this, our engineering skill is leveled up enough for now. We're not going to worry too much more about that for a minute. Um, we've got a whole load of these bombs right here, and they're level appropriate because they're unreliable against targets higher than level 50. Um, which is about right for us because we're level 48. Um, I mean, yes, we probably we do want to like get it leveled up a bit more than that so that we're up to the mithril level. But at the moment, I, th I think we're all right as we are. So we've got our six pumpkins, and we've also got the Thunder Falls, the fish from up there. So we will go racing back in. If you'd like to see me having a go with a Headless Horseman on this character, then let me know and I will queue up once and I will do it. I was thinking of doing a guild event either this weekend or next weekend um, where we as a guild take on the Headless Horseman. And if we just have a quick look here, the Hallow's End stuff goes... Oh, it's got to be this weekend. If we don't do it this weekend, we're not. We're going to miss out on it. So I might actually do that. I might arrange a guild event where we do it with our lower level characters and, and just sort of take a, a quick spin in there and see what it's all about. We ought to be able to do it. There's several people now have gone above level 60. Uh, Torval and Smudalini in particular, they're both above... Oh, and Damocles now as well. We've got three of them are now in the level 60s. We've got one in Hellfire Peninsula, we got one up in Northrend in Howling Fjord, and we got one in Elwyn Forest who's um, quite possibly doing some of the quests in there. We're going to go over here, and we're going to hand in this fishing quest first. Are we going to get anything good from this? That's what I'm curious about. Violet Perch. There we go. Plus one fishing skill and a bag of shiny things. See you around. I believe the bag of shiny things has a chance of dropping a... A um, couple of different types of pets, although I'm not sure which. So we got there. Increased fishing skill by two for ten minutes. It's not really much of a bobber, is it? And then that one there is by seven for ten minutes, but you require a uh, hundred on it anyway. They're not really... That, that's not great, is it? But still, our fishing skill's now gone up another point. We're up to level 41 on there. This is going to put our cooking skill up by one more point by doing this quest right here. Hello, Robbie. 
Penny's pumpkins. Have you finished collecting the pumpkins? I have indeed. Nice job, Grand Old Penny. We'll be very excited for breakfast tomorrow. Be careful. We get another Epicurean's reward, Greetings. and these are those right there. It's the Cataclysm recipes, and it's the only way to get the Cataclysm recipes. Imported supplies, lots of cocoa beans. And then we've got Taste of Meat right there. So we'll worry about that when we See get to later. Cataclysm level content. Um, reputation with Stormwind, Reputation with Guild. Cooking is now at level 58. Can I cook here? That's something I'm not sure about. I don't know if I can cook here. I can make a cooking fire, though. I, I can come out here and I can make a cooking fire right there in the middle of Stormwind. I can just throw a cooking fire down on the ground just like that. We can roast some boar meat. Uh, what else can I do with that? I got Westfall... If I buy some of that, I can make the Westfall Stew, which is an orange level one, which would actually be better. Soft Frenzy Flesh. I've not found those yet. Uh, coyote Steaks, Boiled Clams, Spring Water. I've got five clams. Well, spring Water. Do I want a load of Spring Water? Do you sell Spring Water? You need something? No, he only, he only trains in cooking. He, Have he, a good he one. He doesn't sell. I need someone. Oh, who are you? Uh, have you? You're a you're a candy vendor. Open for business. You have a you, good. You one. don't have what I need. There are people around here. There may be someone that sells just trade goods. It's so what we ink trader. No inscription. Inscription. Okay, this place is very weird. It's full of books, and uh, quite frankly, it's a little bit strange for me. I'm I'm not a I'm not I'm not a book reader. I'm I'm a paladin. I, I bring the holy light. Um, I don't try to read or understand things though. That's that's the, the way it works. Right, enchanting supplies. Apprentice, I need trade goods. I need someone who sells trade goods. Where am I going to find trade goods? I know we got the trade district here. Maybe in here. What's this? This is the the, the winery. Uh, Merlot connoisseur. Who, who are you? How are who you? Are you? Uh, you. No, nope, you're See no you good. Around. I need the water. I I need to be able to find this stuff. I know what we can do. I know where I can. I know where I can go to find it. I know that there is a, there is a place we can go to do some cooking. If we can't find it anywhere else, there is a place we can go to do some cooking. There are trade goods we can sell in here. Everyday merchant. Every this guy, general goods. What are you looking for? Do you have what I need? Refreshing spring water. Yes, right. We want ten lots of those. For the that's, alliance. Okay, that, that's a good start. Uh, I can't make another cooking fire, which is not so good. So we need to either run back to our um, cooking fire, or we need to go this way. And we want to go into where did I want to go? I think I actually need to go into Old Town for the cooking. There is a Dwarven area one that you can go to, but I don't think it's the one that we want. So we want to go through Old Town through here, and we want to have a look in... It's this one right here, I think. The Pig and Whistle. I think we go into the Pig and Whistle. We go up there. We've got the innkeeper there. Hey there. I don't think she sells anything that we want. I don't think she sells seashells by the seashore either. Um, Safe which travels. is a little bit disappointing. So she's not got anything that we want, but up here. Look along here. Master to you. of cooking recipes. We already know that one. Gortus liver pipe. We don't know that one. Have, have I learned that one? Nope. That's level 90. That's level 100. That's level 110. Gortusk liver pie. Three silver and 40 copper. We'll take that. And the Westfall stew. We already know that one. The rest of those, See we will leave them behind. So let's take this one here, and we need Gortusk liver. We don't have any Gortusk livers, so that's, that's not going to... Oh, yes, we do. <gasps> we have Gortusk livers! There's some more cooking that we can... Finally, we're able to level up our cooking a little bit. Now, is it this? Is it in here? Yes, there he goes. Steven Ryback, this guy right here. we got a warm fire there. I think we can cook on the warm fire. Yes, we can cook on a warm fire. Um, Stephen Ryback is supposed to be Casey Ryback, who is... Um, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember his name now. Steven Seagal. Uh, back from when he used to make the, the really good films. Many years ago now. we got five more of those that we can do. That's all then. That, that, oh, I've also got... Wait a minute. I'll do those five brilliant small fish a minute. And I'll see what they get me. Whether they'll give me... Any, oh, that's got me one level up. 
I got one level up from the five brilliant small fish. I don't get a lot. I just get brilliant small fish after... Right, okay, we didn't get any more than that. We just got those. But then I can do three here. Those are three guaranteed level ups, which is going to push our cooking up to level 70. Right there. That's gone green. That's still on yellow. Probably it's sometimes a good idea to do the stuff lower down first. Sometimes it doesn't really make much difference. Right. That requires level 78. Uh, cooking. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Cooking 75 there. And we're 70. So that's our next one there. Crab cake. Which requires crawler meat. Which we don't have any of. This one here. Dry pork ribs. It requires boar ribs. And that gives two stamina and versatility. Well, versatility is a good thing. Versatility is not so bad. Cooking Looking for something specific? supplies. What have you got? Uh, cooking 80. Sage fish. Raw sage fish. Raw greater sage fish. We've got some raw greater sage one. fish. You're back to here. So venison, no, no. I'm, I'm looking through these just to see what alternative, what extra ingredients we might need to go with some of these. So if we've got all of those, the raw long jaw mud snapper, is that, is there a recipe with that one? We need to take all of the, we get food adrenor, a pandarian, the cataclysm, and then we've got everyday cooking right down here. Crystal Song Forest, three Epicurean rewards. Nope. Blackened dragon fin. Dragon fin angel fish. Oh, that's recipes, that's recipes of the cold north. Outland. Old world. That's what we want. Right, baked salmon right there. Vendor, feralas. It, so you can see here, like there, the charred bear kebabs. We've got bear flanks. We've got seven of those. We could get this, but that's... Really? Cooking 250? Okay, we want to hold those. Juicy Bear Burgers, right there. Cooking. Uh, profession Trainer. Right, so Tender Wolf Steak right there. World Vendors. Now, Tender Wolf Steak, if we could find that one, we'd, we'd actually be able to make it. Requires level 40. Five stamina and versatility. See, we're ready to go if we could get the Tender Wolf Steak, but we don't actually have it. So it's, some of the problem is finding the different recipes. Right, you've got the Vendatron there, World Vendors. Um, finding the, the various different recipes in different places, it that can be one of your, your biggest um, problems. See, look at a Seasoned Wolf Kebab right there. Duskwood. Actually, didn't we learn that? See, wait, wait, I didn't, didn't I pick that one up? Seasoned Wolf Kebab. There, right there, I need cooking 100 for that one. Ah, that's why we haven't got that one yet. And that one's 110, that one's 90, and then that one's that one's 110. Succulent pork ribs. It's a problem, is it's not telling me what I need for them. And then we got happy cooking here. Slither skin mackerel. I didn't even know that was a thing that I could do with that one. World vendors. Where do I even get that from? So many recipes! And it, it does take a long time to, like, gather up all of the recipes. It really does. It, it can take absolutely ages. Right. Good day to so you. we'll go to here like that. And we don't want the raw long jaw thingy. We don't want the brilliant small fish either. We get rid of the refreshing water. That Westfall stew doesn't give us any kind of buff when we eat it. The gore tusk liver pie does. So we will keep hold of that bad boy. And we've also got that's one stamina for 15 minutes, which, quite frankly, is pointless. Two stamina and two versatility. So we'll take that one. Um, these here, there's, there's little point in keeping them anymore. So we get rid of them. The the bare flank. Why did that not go into the crafting reagents when I Safe removed travels. the crafting reagents? Oh, hang on a minute. Here. Ignore this bag on cleanup. That's why. So if I do that, and then I do the cleanup. It'll then take some of those. If we go back to the bank. I don't want that one. I want. We, we got. We got to stick with. We got to stick with what we were using in here. Um, we're gonna run back over to the bank, and we're going to just very quickly clear out the rest of the stuff that we're carrying, and then we're not gonna have to worry about that. And then we're heading back to Redridge. We've done everything that we want to do now in Stormwind. We've done a little bit of our cooking. We've done what we can with the cooking at the moment. We've done what we can with the engineering. We've done what we can with the mining. Uh, we've done a little bit of fishing. We've done a few other bits and pieces as well. I'm not worrying about archaeology on this character, so we don't Hello. need to worry about that. 
Uh, we go to Reagent Bank right there, deposit all of those, and there that's cleared out a load of these bits, the iron struts. We've got the copper ore there. I've got moonstone, boar ribs, tough condor meat, bear meat. I've got, I've got loads of stuff now. Right, so all of that is being carried around in there, and then I don't need to worry about it. I don't need to concern myself with it in the slightest. What about you? I haven't said ignore that one. That's on equipment. Right, that's perfect. So we've got that one there. Gooey spider cake. I forgot we have those. So there's there's some more food that we can bring out. I'll put that one out there like that so that I've got both of them out. Um, and then we got that one there. We've got a load of bombs. Boiled clams. Two stamina and versatility. We'll put those down there so that we don't forget them. Our elixir of water walking. We'll probably want to use... I always forget about that. I always carry something like that around with me wherever I go. Um, and I usually forget about it. Fishing by two for a couple minutes. I think I'll probably sell those two. Right. See you later. We've put everything in the bank that we want to. And we don't need to worry about taking anything out of the bank at the moment. We've done everything here that we want to do at the moment. I'm not going to worry about looking for anything more for my outfit at the moment. Although there's one other thing I do want to do. Um, from farmer to fisherman. Um, I, I didn't see what Smudo had written down there. Fish, uh, uh, well, we're, we're thinking about it. Oops. Um... We're thinking about it. Um, yeah, lots of fishermen here. Uh, when you get to Pandaria, you do actually get to do some farming as well. So uh, maybe we'll go back to doing our farming when we get to pa pa Pandaria there. Uh, right, we've got... There was uh, rawhide. It was the rawhide stuff. That's what I wanted there. Nothing. No rawhide at all. Now, is it because it's supposed to be like that? Is it rawhide? Nope. There's just nothing in there. Okay. Right. We need to head towards Red Ridge, which we'll be doing in our next episode. That's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our way towards Red Ridge. I'm going to start running towards the flight point over this way. We'll get changed on our way over there. And we're going to pick up our quests where we left off in Red Ridge. And we're going to carry on with all those quests in our next episode. And this is what I love about this game. Every now and then you take... A little bit of time out and you go to the big city and you deal with a load of your professions and stuff like that and and then you go back out adventuring again fully refreshed fully recharged with a load of new supplies and everything else is absolutely brilliant I, I i love it i really do but anyway if you've enjoyed this episode then please hit down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.